I'm home cold, she's dead in trial. Why ain't I see you around back when I was down? Did you ever uh do, do time in juvie? <laughs> Yep, I was, I was, I was, I was Tetris, man. Um, <laughs> you know, it's funny because, um, you know, Gambino family, right? Yeah, yeah. So my first time, I, it's, it's, I don't know, it's weird, but my first time, I was like, um, maybe my second time, whatever, I don't know what it was. But um, um, when I first got in there, Gambino, yeah, um, I think Tunch, the little one was there, mm -hmm. he's my cousin, so he kind of showed me the ropes. But what, what happened was my mom. Because I think me being a young person, when you know when your parents see you in any kind of jail, right? Yeah. They think like, oh, you're gonna, you gonna get something happen to him, and you know whatever, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. But realistically, it it made me really worse because yeah. I went there and I could fight, so I just fought. I just fought yeah. my way. First day I got there, fought. Second day I asked him, he'll tell you, and he told me to fight. He said, as soon as somebody says something, just fight, you know, just fight him. Whatever. Who told you that? Uh, Lil Gotti. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, yeah Lil Gotti. Lil Gotti. Yeah, yeah. 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 So he he just told me, and he did it too. He he showed me, watched his cousin. He just did. Big old dude by like, <laughs> by like, like six eight. He just yeah. you know he little. He like right. five one. He just jumped on him and he. Wow. But the dude said something to him like, "Oh, turn the TV off." He just jumped on. Yeah. him. So it really messed me up because I thought it was I thought it was all peaches and cream just because nobody really wanted to fight. So I I wanted to fight everybody, and you know it was like so they just let me kind of go through it, which messed me up because my mom came to court, and she was like, um, she was crying whatever, and she was mm -hmm. like. Um, she was kind of like my baby, you know, my baby, yeah, right? Yeah. But I was like, "What you crying for?" Because I'm, I'm actually okay. And when I got out, it, it made me like don't care about nothing until I turn 18. Then I was in the real, in the real yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, but other than that, it wasn't really nothing nobody could do with me. You know, that's crazy because my juvenile um, experience mm -hmm. <laughs> was a little bit different. You know, mm -hmm. I, I went to jail at 15, mm -hmm. and um, it was the first time I had been locked up, and it was for some serious shit, too. Mm, um, mm. They were going to certify me as an adult. Ooh. So I remember um, going up in the courtroom. <clears throat> you know, I'm playing. You know, I'm I'm, I'm putting it on. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, yeah, I don't care. So yeah, the yeah. judge is like, man, we can't let you out because we feel like that you're a menace to society. Mm. I'm like, ah, man, whatever. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Man, I went back to my, my cell. Mm -hmm. They shut that door behind me. Mm, I, I sat on that motherfucker bed. Mm. A tear trickled down my face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, damn, mm -hmm. this is what it got real. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you you think that you really want that mm -hmm. until you got to deal with that part of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm.